Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Ow! Jerk! Let's clean up some of these kinstones that, uh... Kinstone offerings, I should say. These particular one, ones are from uh, Tingle and his and his brother Ankle, I think his name was. And in fact, uh, Tingle has two more brothers, which will open up the other two trees, and lighting the four torches will open the open the path to that larger chest that was seen. Sadly, we're a ways off from, uh, from that. No matter. Come in here, take this heart, be on our way. What else have we got around here? Oh, it's a fairy fountain. Well, that's from the kinstone we fused with the uh, Crenel Hermit. There used to be a rock blocking over this hole. I only mention that because, well, it was a. Uh, it is going to be referenced. <laughs> Specifically by the little guy living in said hole. Hello, sir. Yeah. Cleared that rock whilst getting some rupees off screen earlier. Earlier. But for you, I have a kinstone fusion to make. And, uh... These particular kinstones, we want to kind of ration at the moment. Definitely want to keep at least one of them with me. Put you above the hole, and the direction you want to go is down, so naturally push back into the hole. That spot is just rude. Oh well, let's return to town. Hello, sir. Oh yeah, why is that? Uh, just because you don't think it exists doesn't mean it doesn't. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah. That's a somewhat odd sentiment, since it implies you live differently. Good luck. What even is that? Oh well. Let's like to go further that way. There's a bit of a dog in the way. <laughs> no matter. No, oh, I don't want some milk. We'll use some stones. Oh, 
sir. stones with you specifically. I should start a newsletter. It reach a lot more people that way. Be a lot of work, though. Yay! Now we, now we can actually go and, and buy said newsletter if we desire. Hello, fella! Oh yeah! how we'd get reach some of those holes. Well, before we try out the simulation arcade, let's, uh, visit the shop. Because I have an awful lot of money to burn. Thank you, sir. Money to burn. Oh, hello there. Thanks for coming by. I saw all kinds of picolite. Just put it in your bottle. And good stuff happens when you drink it. Oh, really? What's this? The most serious of collector. Make it easier for you to find mysterious shells. Ah, uh, no, I don't want those. I haven't even gone over wh where we spend the shells yet. The red picolite will make your quest so much easier. A cinch for you to find hearts. Have some? No, not that. What's this? That's an empty bottle. If I ever find a new kind of pickle knife, I'll put it in there. Ah. What about this one? Oh, that white pickle knife is for people who want to get lucky. It's easier for you to find kinstone pieces. Care to buy? This one I would care to buy. Yay! I'm being stingy about that particular shape. Unfortunately, we do need to dig our way back out. Thank <laughs> you. 
take that sign. Hello, sir. Ho ho. Here we are. Uh, come to the fab fabulous the Simon Simulations. Would you like to hear more about us? Uh, sure. Oh, well, certainly. Now, how shall I put this? We offer you the chance to become... to be the hero you are... you dream of becoming. We allow you to fight right, grand monsters without any danger. This is our unique service. Now, I can't say it's too loudly, but... if you dispatch a monster skillfully enough, you might get something nice. Now, even though this is only a simulation, it's still not for the faint of heart. If you should die in the simulation, why then, well, I don't know. It's never happened. I thought you said it was without danger. That's why it's never happened. Oh. It's ten rupees for one try. Interested? Alrighty. I see. So you're going then. Well, let me get a fad up here. Now, you're getting very sleepy. So very sleepy. and try again any time. We're always open, selling dreams to John Q. Public. Yes, sir. Well, that was different. No matter. Get back to taking care of, of things. Oh, yeah? No. I don't have one of those. Oh, ma'am. I can use one of those. Use kinstone pieces, yep. It's other ones you specifically do not want to fuse, use yet, or ones you don't have. Hi! Have we met before? Hmm. I was wondering. No matter. Hi there. <laughs> I 
That's a semi-familiar looking path. Aha! I hope it means we're in for good luck. Back there? No? Well, I guess not. Odd. I could have sworn I heard something. Hello, sir. You got I knew there was someone back here. When did you find your way back here? This area is for employees only. That is to say, me and me alone. Well, sorry about that, but, uh, I want to ask about this bottle. I'm sorry, my good lad, but that is not for sale. The bottle contains food for my dear little dog, Bordekin. Well, I don't want the dog food, I want the bottle. Well, that's unusual. Well, fine. If you feed Bordekin, then I guess you can have the bottle. How's that sound? Great! Excellent, excellent. Is that my home right now? Thank you so much. Yay! So, uh, where's your home? I'll mark it on your map. Ah, figures you don't live in town. Alrighty. Off we go. Actually, before we get to return to a uh, full size, a bit of a lengthy trip across town because, well, we're gonna want to do this sooner or later. Seem to be a convenient time to make this trip. Yeah, this pooch isn't kidding. Cats, specifically, always seem to try to be out to kill ya. Sorry, buddy. Picky about both, about that particular, or kinstone piece. Hey there, birdie. Fancy that becoming minish size just gives us the ability to speak with animals. Ah, of course, I don't have one of those. No, I don't think you're too young, I just don't have one. Teleporter, but hello, sir. Look at this. Really good visitors here. Tell me, how did you get here? I don't know exactly. Where is here? 
Hi there. Oh, really? Hmm. Hello, sir. My youth, I was called Crackle the Great. I was even a little famous. Lately, my limbs have grown heavy and I can't even stand up. Oh, let's help him out of it. You alright, sir? What? You evil spirit had taken hold of me. You drove it away? Yeah, I believe so. You... you may... you might be right. I already feel my energy returning. We'll be able to get out of bed soon. What's your name? Oof. Thank you, my boy. You saved me. You're in the area. Come by for a quick visit. Fun fact: if you don't, if you don't uh, suck that, suck that ghost into the into the gust jar, then uh, the old man doesn't survive later. not really a fun fact, it's just a case of reality. And those golden critters are tough. Hey, fella. Yeah, so I found some kin stones. Beanstalk got headed for the skies. I got ripped off by that particular pickle light. Not gonna lie, it leaves me rather annoyed. How's my kinstone collection looking? Acceptable.
It's not like I can particularly legitimately be be upset with the mer uh, the merchant. Because after all, he just sold me something that increases uh, increases my chance of seeing something. It's not like I bought a guarantee. Still feel ripped off. Oh well. Well, how to see about uh, heading to deliver this dog food, which, uh, funnily enough, we can warp to the lake despite not having having actually seen the wind crest there. Also because it's just kind of the default wind crest. <laughs> Hello, sir! Yeah. How are you now? So do you know how to get into the local temple? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so you don't know, but you know who does. Fair enough, I guess. Ah. That's worth a shot. They're not tingle. Here you go, puppy. And while we're here, how you doing, Pooch? Hmm. Poor doggy. Save this kinstone piece for you. Hello, sir. Are you Mr. Fay? Oh, yeah. Look at those clothes. You gotta be him. I see some kinstone pieces from Tingle. I said I should try to fuse them with you, Mr. Perry. So, what do you think? Should we try? Couldn't hurt. After all, I saved a kinstone specifically for you. Good thing I did. Yay! Whoa, I didn't think that would actually work. Let's see, 65 left to go. Still ways. Uh, I can search for happiness myself. How oh, wouldn't we all like to do such things? No matter. Back to town for us. Of things like some more of this. Oh, I made a sail. And 
make our way across, uh, across the Poth uh, River. Hey, dog! Why you gotta be in my way? Oh, yeah? What is this explanation? Well, I'm asking you now, what is it? Here, have a kitten stone. Alrighty, now he's moving. I specifically have to talk to him as... <laughs> your minish size. Talk to him a couple of times. Yeah, that would just approach him from, from this side. But no matter. What figurines are you talking about? Well, let's talk about the figurines which are... I'd say sold here, but they aren't sold. Because they are gambled for these mysterious shells. I got an offer to make you. You say for trading for a chance to win. Alrighty. The more shells you use, the more likely you'll, you are to win a figure you don't have. That probability is our chance of, of getting a new figure. Which, uh, since we have none of them, any figure is going to be new. Oh my god. Vegetable vendor. So it's fine produce. Constantly argues with the fruit vendor over the health benefits of veggies. Yay! And well, there are 130 different figurines. So, I'm going to off screen uh, burn off a lot of these shells. Next time, we'll go to the library. See you then! Later.